You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Do they go on their own time? How do you pay for that? Great yep. question. You got, and that's a great thing. That's a great qu question, Carmen, because mm -hmm. guys will eat you up with, eat you up with call, callbacks. Yep. The guys you want, really ultimately what you want from your crew, mm -hmm. and what I work with my crew, um, was they were responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. You want to create a culture where your guys are professionals. This is professional plumbing. Right. You are responsible for everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you are you are the Marines. Okay. You're the 101st Airborne. Mm -hmm. there, there is no cavalry coming to save you. You <laughs> are responsible. So if right. you mess it up, all right, mm -hmm. you're responsible for your time because you benefited from the extra time, right? You got right. paid the extra time, mm -hmm. all right? And so if you mess it up, it's your time. Mm -hmm. Now I did give, my guys got one hour of callback pay a week. Right. Like one hour, get out of jail free card. That's exactly what Frankie said. Give them right. one hour courtesy, hour a week. Everything after that is on their own time. On, on their own That's time. If they have more than that, there's a problem. Right, exactly. Okay. Yeah, if there's more than that, then you've got a, a training issue. Now, in saying that, um, on all due fairness and just for you to, to, to keep the good morale of the team, if the job goes south or something goes bad because of the manufacturer or right. some other thing outside their control, mm -hmm. go ahead and, you know, I, I paid them hour. I paid them their 25 bucks an hour, whatever the hourly rate was to go back and take care of it. Right. Okay. But um, already you have a culture, you know, the guys aren't looking to camp out on that. You know, you, 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 have, you have the right guys on board and the right kind of culture that you've created, mm -hmm. that guys are gonna to look to camp out all day on that, on that callback. You, right. you know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Right. And the right guys do not wanna go on callbacks because they're losing opportunities. Right, so. to sell more time. Mm -hmm. um, you know, an example, one thing that came up, this is the, I'll share what, what surprised okay. me. What? Is, you know, you know that I'm big, you know, those that watch and work, you know, no, oh. you, can't, you can't grow a business on a new construction and, you know, commercial accounts and that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. all right? The reality of it is, if, you, if you're coming from new construction, you may keep a, a GC, you may keep one or two accounts um, that do pay you decently and you aren't, you. You know, aren't a bunch of problems. Right. Or if you're coming from the commercial side, you'll keep a, a, a good commercial account or two, right. okay? Mm -hmm. um, and um, just to kind of help through the low times, right? Okay. okay? All right? Now, those kind of accounts, I didn't look at those as money making accounts. We did we did um, some light commercial kind of and, fillers, right? They were fillers. They were fillers, mm -hmm. right? And I would send my piece rate guys. My, I mean, so guys, I pay twenty five, thirty, thirty five dollars an hour on these jobs that weren't bid for that much. So they weren't money makers. Did I lose? No, um, but it filled the t you know it it filled through through lower times, right. okay? Mm -hmm. And it gave a training ground for my my lower guys right. okay that's usually who i tried to send there mm -hmm. but if we were slow and and, and you know um it, it gave it gave work to guys now here's mm -hmm. the thing what your good piece rate guys mm -hmm. will push back against that oh yeah they could be sitting wednesday and thursday Mm -hmm. And you could send them out on this new construction job or this remodel job, mm -hmm. and have my guy say, "No, no, no, I'll, no I'll wait. That's okay. I'll wait," because mm -hmm. they don't want to work with that messy job mm -hmm. because they know on Friday there's a good chance that they could sell a sewer, right? Or you know, no, a they can make water it up. Heater. I'll make it up. Right. I worth it. I don't want to go work on that dirty, nasty job. Right. Even though you're going to pay me twenty five bucks an hour to do it, I just yeah, don't want to do that wait. kind of work. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want the easy work. Right. And so I had to find a way to say, no, we all got to do go. this kind of work. Mm -hmm. And so I need you to go there and let's get this job done, you know, yep. and taken care of. Hey, Christy right. has a question. So whether they had a callback or not, you just pay them a callback hour or weekly? No, 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 no. Well, um, if they had a callback, um, Christy, we had a task code for that. It was CBK-100. Dash, uh, those who know this will know this through mm -hmm. the Academy. Uh, 01.00. Right. And so. We um, one of those a week. You assign yeah. you assign a job to them, and right. then the the unit price would obviously be zero, but it had an hour attached to it for the callback. Right. Um, for the call, I'm sorry for the the text pay. Right. And guys will whine. Oh, I, I wait. Hey, should have did it right. Yep. Sorry about you. Right. You got paid. You got paid six hours. How long did it take you? Three. Mm -hmm. Two and a half. Three. Well, okay. Then give me my hours back. 
Right. <laughs> give, give, give my time back. No, they won't want to do that. No. Okay. No. So they get it. I mean, the guys, the, the guys get it. Right. And what you'll find is your callbacks go down. And if you, huh. and what do you the know? guys that are having a callback, those are the guys you got to move on anyways. Mm-hmm. You got to replace. Yep. Because no matter, you know, they just, they just don't have the skill. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, I think that, well, we got a couple other things here. Let's see. <laughs> Patrick. Patrick Basinga works plumbing, San Francisco. Peace White works for men only. <laughs> I know where you're going with that, and that's true. There's no, the boys just don't, um, the little cry babies. Mm-hmm. Hey, Wes. And, um, you know, this is this is professional plumbing, all right? Peace Rate, you know, they make the big bucks. And, you know, we had guys that would make, um, you know, we're in the six figures, you know? And we're not talking about, we didn't work weekends, we didn't work holidays, we didn't work after hours, mm-hmm. okay? And this is back in the day. Yep. Okay. Back in so the day. It's it's um back in the olden days. Right. And and so they benefited from making things happen. Okay. Right. Now with that, you always have the guys with another way peace rate allows and those of you in the academy would get into H V I, your hourly right. value index and mm-hmm. which is really what drives your business, okay? HVI, very, it's very the important. one number you gotta know. Okay, mm-hmm. it's the one number. Well, when you discover that, like my HVI was 6.2, mm-hmm. okay, that covered all the expenses of my, of my business. My HVI was 6.2. Mm-hmm. So if my guys, I would tell my guys, hey, mm-hmm. you, do, you have an HVI of six, yeah. you can go home. Because mm-hmm. you have those guys. Come right. on, we know we have those guys that are always looking at two or three o'clock and want to go home. They much rather go fishing or right. uh, go play or do, do whatever, mm-hmm. okay? Well, you know, in our, in our uh, uh, task rates, you mm-hmm. know, you sell one water heater, mm-hmm. It, it made, you know, it made 7.2 hours. Huh. They could go home after selling one water heater. Mm. And I had guys that did, allowed that. Right. And that's what kept those, that's what those guys wanted. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. That's, hey, Mike has a great right. question. If you go on a callback from another tech, do you get their money from them? Or does the plumber who caused the, who caused the issue um, get his full pay? That's a great question. Great you guys. question. Yeah. Always try to send the same guy hey, back Dwayne. because he, it, it, it hurts him. Right. If I had to send another plumber, like I had to cover, then I had to pay him. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I just paid him as the company. Mm-hmm. As I just we just went ahead and paid him. Yeah, we didn't take like our way. That I didn't logistical nightmare. Right. If you had ended up having too many of those for some reason, the original plumber couldn't go back out. Um, maybe Mrs. Jones doesn't want him to come back out or whatever. If you got too many of those, you've got a training issue or you have a an employee issue. Time to move a guy on. Need time on. to take him. Take him for a ride and mm-hmm. get some cannoli and. Leave the car <laughs> with him in Get it. the cannoli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, All funny. right. I'm um, DW.